can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Today, today, I don't know, some people do that stuff, but it's kind of cool. So today's video, um, we're actually heading out of the shop right now, and we're actually gonna be restoring the E36 M3 headlights. So the headlights look terrible. They just look terrible. We're gonna go ahead, restore them, and just pretty much complete the front end. We also have some black grills. We just ordered some black, they're already black, so we're not, we're not painting chrome. It's not gonna look janky, it's gonna look good. Black grills, blacked out headlights. We're at the shop today, we're also gonna be probably getting the lifts up. Probably, you guys been saying it, you guys been wanting it. So we're about to put up the lifts, and we got the bonnet the shop. We got John, we got John Thin, we got your boy, and then we also got Arlon from Texas. My boy finally came down from Texas, so that's gonna be super cool. And we're just gonna be spending time with the fam and working on some cars. What's what, what's a better way of doing it? I'm gonna catch you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we are pulling up. I'm gonna go ahead and say what's up to the guys, and then uh, we'll go ahead and pull out the camera. The Erlon's white E90. That's actually his girlfriend's, but yeah. All right, guys, we are back in the garage. We have Jonathan, my boy. He's already vlogging. You already know. You know, you know what's going on. But then we got Erlon, like out of nowhere. It comes out of Texas. I told him, I told him I need some help with my car, so he flew down here. Shout out to him. Um, and you know, he had some free time, so he got engaged in the process. Yeah, I'm just kind of bored down there. Like <laughs> now you're just messing around, but guys, this is like something. It's a good news. So congratulations to our line. Um, oh, appreciate it, my dude. Oh yeah, dude. We really don't see each other that often anymore. That kind of sucks. Are you gonna ever come down here again, or what? Like again, like. So here's what's gonna happen. Uh huh. My girlfriend's moving to Texas. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get married. Okay. Just make it like official and shit. So you can't kidnap her. You just can't have some movie. <laughs> And then, uh, we're gonna plan a wedding and then have it here in California and stuff. But if she doesn't like Texas, oh, I gotta, I gotta tell her to come back to California. Oh, I'm gonna have to talk to her. <laughs> we're gonna have to talk to her. We need our boy back. <laughs> Maybe he'll come back, back over here. Down. But anyways, he's already getting back to work. This is Sears car, guys. So we did, we did a whole bunch of coding the other day. I'll throw in the footage right now. So you guys saw we did a whole bunch of coding. We, re we reflashed the car because I thought there was like a tune or some kind of weird ass thing. And we had boost for a little bit and then the boost went away. So thinking it's a boost stick, as soon as the car got warm, he's gonna replace these canisters just to triple check. And he's also replacing the boost solenoids right now, right? Yeah, so we're replacing the boost solenoids. And then Sierra went ahead and placed an order on a new blow-up valve charge pipe. He has cowl filters coming in and new vacuum lines. So we're doing a whole bunch of new upgrades to this. And at the same time, he's just checking the things on the side that we didn't order just to make sure I uh, just roll those out of the equation. Um, today, you guys already know we're going to be trying to get these lifts 100% ready to go for an electrician, right? Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Now. We need to get that. We need to get it done. And you know what else needs to get done? The E36 M3. So we're going to hopefully get the headlights done today in this Ooh. video as well. Because I want to get those done, dude. That's going to be fun. That's going to be nice. So halos, you know, blacked out should be sick. I think everybody's gonna be here today too. Everyone yeah. should be here. Devon's being here in about 30 minutes. Devon will be here, yeah. And John's gonna be here by noon. Yeah. So yeah. any minute now. I like how this guy flexes so hard. <laughs> he just pulls up after like a year of not seeing him. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen her in so long, dude. Damn. So we got John here, all the beamers here now. This is an unfamiliar one, but this is uh, Erlon's girlfriend. So I mean, no, uh, fiancés. So that's sick. And then we got, we got Seer. This guy, this dude. It's a day! Guys, one of John's customers just pulls up in a USB. I can't show the numbers or anything, but like, what is going on? <laughs> All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're not gonna replace the grill just yet, or the side mark. You guys already know from the people that are on my channel, I've already replaced this guy, but I put back the OEM one for the thumbnail, and then the nasty grills that I already threw away, which are these guys, the chrome, and they were plastic dip. You guys know how my channel started, but anyways, we're not dealing with that. We're gonna go ahead and just sand this entire headlight. You guys saw that it was like plastic dip up here, so it's a lot clearer. I kinda want this whole thing to be pretty clear, and then throw in some halos, and it should look pretty sick. So let's go ahead, sand it all, polish it off, make this thing look good, and then throw in some halos. I uh, just got all the plastic dip off, guys. You guys can see how nice it was before. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand all this all over again and uh, try to get these things as close to this as possible.
All right, guys, so I went ahead and sounded both headlights down to 600 grit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go over these with the kit now. So guys, you went ahead and sanded both headlights down with 800. So you can use 600 and then 800, but I went ahead and just went from 800. I'm gonna go to 1,000, 1,500, then 2,000. And then after using the 2,000, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the compound. And once I use the compound, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this on it and that's it. I'm not really using anything else from this kit because it's not that great. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my sandpaper. You guys can go ahead and go on Amazon and order this. This has pretty much all the sandpaper paper you're gonna need it comes all together it's like six bucks if you go to Walmart this is about six 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 so that adds up real quick so this is six dollars that's everything I have this link down below it has all the sound papers you need but I'm just gonna go ahead and now use a thousand fifteen hundred two thousand then I'll get back to you guys when all of it has been used on the headlights All right, guys, so we just went over the headlight with 800, 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that for a little bit. We're gonna get something to eat. <laughs> We're gonna get something to eat real quick, and then uh, we'll come back and get back to work. But um, this is getting trickled. That car's getting trickled, and uh, John and Devon are working on the lifts. All right, it's exciting to eat, boys. All right, guys, we just finished eating, so I didn't really show you. I forgot the camera in the car. We we're too hungry. But anyways, we're full. We're gonna head back to the shop. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. So let's head, let's head back Madonna's to the shop. The right there. Oh. Might as well stop, right? Now we're going back. <laughs> So I got the headlights in there, masked around them. Uh, so that's how they look right now. It's pretty much all the same surface, super soft with 2000 grit. Um, make sure it's all dried up 100%. And I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it down real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the compound, put on the machine and go ahead and just start working at it. Alright guys, check how clear that is. So you guys can see, this is after using compound a couple times and then wiping it down. So basically I went through it, just a few passes, wiped it down, looked at it, went again with some more compound. And I think it looks absolutely great. Look at that, look at the difference guys. That looks so good. So this is an extra step. We're gonna go ahead and use some glaze and this should make it shine a little more. It's what you put on top of paint too to make it shine even more. I think this looks absolutely insane as it is. If you guys hit the kit, you can just use this. I went ahead and used my trusted compound because I like this more, but the kit works just fine. And then you could also get this, which is actually gonna make it even shinier. So let's go ahead and use some glaze and see how shiny we can make this thing come out. Wiping off the glaze. Check that out. Buddy, that looks so much better. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, guys. The difference. It turns out, after watching a couple videos, um, you're supposed to actually put this in the oven and take it apart and all that stuff or use like a Dremel or something and take this apart, but I don't have any glue on me today. It looks like we're gonna have to do this in a separate video. Anywho, or we might not even do it at all, but basically I have to pretty much trim all this down with a Dremel and then take the housing off, put in the halos and then put it all back on. Basically like the newer cars. I like on the E46, it's just a couple tabs, you pop it up like the depot headlights. Like if you guys have depot headlights, they're super easy to install, but these are not depots. So, um, I'm happy at least we restored them. We're gonna go ahead and throw them on the car with the new grills and everything. Fortunately, it's not gonna have halos. It is what it is. But uh, let's just put this thing back together. All right, guys, so I can't really get in the way of Devon and John because they're doing some important work over here. So. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and install the headlights real quick and I'll check back at you guys. Are you good, bro? Yeah, we're supposed to do it. Yeah. Now we see to throw in the two black grills that I picked up and then finally pretty much the whole front end is pretty much complete. And then I'm gonna start touching up the rest of the wrap. They wash the interior, exterior, and then uh, even the engine bay because I really wanna make this thing super clean. All right guys, and just like that, we got the black grills on, the smoked out turn signals, the headlights, and they're all cleared up. The car is pretty much ready to get a car wash. It hasn't been washed since it got wrapped. So let's go ahead and go wash it. And we'll do an interior detail and exterior detail and all that good stuff. All right guys, so the only thing that's really missing is that side piece there. Windows are both blacked out, the whole front 
front end is pretty much blacked out. The, the headlights are cleared up. I got that window up, even though the window regu regulator is shot, but now we can actually wash the entire car without water getting inside the car. Jonathan's washing John's car. We got Jonathan washed my car. We got Sierra's car. We got <laughs> Devon's car. And then Jonathan's 135 is back there as well. Are we missing a BMW? Oh, Erlon was here earlier. Yeah, so uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and drive this one. We're gonna go ahead and clean up this, drive up that, and then we can finally do a photo shoot with all these beamers. We never had all of them here at the same time. This is super sick. Time to work on Minty. So if you guys wanna know what's going on with this M3, make sure to stay tuned. Some big news is gonna happen on the E36 M3, but in the meantime, guys, it's looking really good. I'm really happy on the results. I finally have the whole car together. We can finally legally drive it down the road. But without further ado, guys, I wish we were able to put halos, but I don't actually have the equipment right here to do the halos with. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. I got a couple major exams coming up, but hopefully in the next video, it should be something killer. I'm trying to get a new build on the channel, so let me know what else you guys wanna see me say. But for the most part, I think this C36M3 has come together fairly well. So let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel. So I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert because I wanna have worth.